everybody, and welcome to Bourbon Bites. I am Clifton, and welcome to my first Saturday night, well, maybe not my first, my first official <laughs> Saturday night stream. Um, thank you all so much for being here. I know like it's going to take a minute for people to flow in because they're not used to me going live on Saturdays. Totally understand. Um, but I want to do something fun to launch our new Saturday night time. I'm still going to go live on Thursdays. Um, but you guys helped me reach my Patreon goal of $100 a month. Um, so I'm starting a second stream a week. So um, Saturday night is going to be the time for the time being. Um, may change depending, you know, after COVID or whatever. Um, but yeah, so figure we'll do something. I, I want to do a little bit more gaming maybe on Saturday night, but I'm still going to keep it whiskey focused. So don't worry. If, if Joseph Brazo comes in here, let him know there's whiskey too. Um, but what's up? Welcome to the stream. My audio seems a little bit low. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I can maybe move my microphone a little bit longer. I think actually it may have been the music that played earlier may have been a little bit loud. So maybe just turn your audio off. I'll, I'll make sure to turn that down for next time. Um, I'll go ahead and adjust that. So, um, but yeah, let me know if, that, if that's okay. Cause this is about normal. I think it's just the music may have been a little loud earlier. So still working on that one, but um, first of all, good mor or good. Mor <laughs> I'm using Lil's thing. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, Trev Wilson, of course, always here. With first of all, he has an amazing view right now. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's on vacation or what, but I'm so jealous, Trev. Um, Spencer, what is up? Uh, Donnie, Linux Cat, um, and Diana, um, Lil, and straight chilling on the side of a cliff. Man, that sounds awesome jealous so hopefully we'll give the people a little bit of time before we get into the actual review um because like i said saturday is totally new um but just a heads up um for those of you that are watching this we're having our july patreon hangout right after this stream so um you guys have about an hour to get your patreon in it's, it's for five dollars and up i think most of you here right now are already in for it but um yeah so <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys want to come out, I have some games planned. I, I have like some like card game things figured out. So we're gonna have a really good time. Um, hopefully you guys can make it. I understand if you can't. I know Lil is gonna get some barbecue, so we'll, we may we may wait a minute before she gets back <laughs> um, to eat with us. But um, yeah, so I'm I'm very very excited. So um, hopefully it'll be a good night tonight. Like I said, we're gonna do the hangout after, but also for the actual stream, we got some really cool stuff. Because I got my hands on the new Buffalo Trace Kosher. Um, this is the rye recipe. I also have the wheat recipe. Disclaimer, I do not have the straight rye. Um, that is not available in my area. I have searched. Um, so I only have two recipes. But what I think I was going to do is I'm going to compare them side by side with the standard Buffalo Trace releases from the same mash bill. So thought that that would give us enough stuff to get going. Um, but along with that whiskey, I want to do something fun. I want to go back to my video game, not Roots, but go back to the whole video game thing and play some classic Christian video games. So backstory, if so, those of you that don't know, I grew up not Jewish, so the kosher thing's new to me. So I, I, I do not pretend to be an expert on kosher or Jewish you know, religion or anything like that. Um, however, I did grow up Christian. I went to a Christian school up until ninth grade. So from first to ninth grade, all Christian schools. So do have experience in that territory. So I, I did not play any Christian um, like Nintendo games in the time. I, I may have played some computer games that were Christian themed, but no Nintendo games. Um, so I'm very excited to give these a try tonight. Um, but I also, like I said, I was trying to be on, on theme. I got the, the kosher whiskey, the Christian video games. Um, just going to be a good night. Just kind of a little precursor into our, like I said, our July hangout. So um, if you are curious about joining the Patreon, um, there is a link down in the description below, I believe. Um, if not, Donnie, uh, Trev, hit up the, <laughs> the Patreon link in the description in, or in the, in the comments, just in case anyone, anyone wants to join us. Like I said, it's gonna, we're, we have a lot of stuff planned tonight, so very looking forward to it. Um, by the way, Brandon, thank you so much for liking the new place. Yeah. I like having a little bit of a backdrop. It's still not quite as like a set as like some YouTubers are, but it's, it's pretty nice. I like having the lights that I can change. Um, a bit for each stream so so let's go I have nothing in my glass currently so let's go to give one of these poured like I said I don't want this stream to be too long because I want to hang out with you guys like the stream's fun but like I love hanging out with people too um what's up Steven Sussman good to see you man on a Saturday thank you for coming in um so okay I'll give you guys a vote 
Should I do the wheat recipe or the rye recipe first? Um, these are both the same proof, 94 proof, um, and they're both the same like this year's release. So whatever the vote, um, the verdict is when you guys can get back to me, because um, I know there's some delay, <laughs> um, we'll pick that one to go first. But while we wait, um, what are you guys drinking? Do you guys, do you guys have this? I feel like it's, it's very hard. It's way harder to find than I, okay, so at first it was way more available than I thought. Um, the fact that I was able to find it was pretty nice. Um, but then it's actually, once it appeared, it's way harder to find than I thought. Uh, we got a vote for wheat, rye, wheater, wheat. Three votes for wheat, so here we go. We're going with the wheat. Well, Brandon, you don't even like rye. What are you even doing? <laughs> so we're going to do the wheat recipe first. So let me pull up the info. So yeah, so this was released this year. Um, it was in collaboration with the Chicago rabbinical rabbi it's got to be rabbinical chicago rabbinical council like i said don't know very much <laughs> um, but i do know i do know kosher is very strict with like their guidelines their dietary guidelines everything has to be approved by a rabbi um these bottles wh what does it say here um these barrels were sold to a non-jewish executive in a ceremony witnessed by a representative from the chicago rabbinical council um and it aged for seven years um, and it was bottled at bottling lines that were cleaned beforehand and had no contact with non-kosher spirits. So, like I said, I'm I'm not Jewish. Um, I, you you may you may think I am because of the nose, but no, I'm not Jewish. People always assume I'm Jewish, <laughs> but I'm not Jewish. But I I, I do you know I, I want to make it very clear. I'm not trying to. Um, why am I so bright? What the hell? I think it's it's go, it's getting sunset outside, so like my lighting's changing. Um, so what the hell that's pro first of all, that's probably non-kosher to say so so yeah i'm not jewish um but you know i think everyone has the right to believe whatever they want to believe if you are jewish jewish christian atheist agnostic islamic whatever whatever your religion of choice is i respect you as long as you respect other people so i since we're going deep dive into religion i grew up in a christian school i do consider myself to be christian um more so in the spiritual aspect of it like not so much like the you know follow the bible you know every day like you know like word for word but i do think that the bible we're not having a debate here this isn't meant to be a debate it's more about just me explaining where i'm coming from i do think the bible has a lot of good lessons in terms of morality and you know being a good person that's my take on religion um come to the after party hangout and we'll get more in detail with it but um yeah, so that's that's my thoughts. So like I said, I am not a Jewish person, but I do understand where people of faith come from, and I do respect their right to have that opinion. So that's that's where I come from. Um. Yeah. So Brandon wants to get the rye recipe. Thinking my thought, want to get my thoughts. Um. Nick is sipping on the Redwood Empire Haystack. Oh, whoa, thirteen year. Wow. The only th so I recently did a stream where I did, um, oh wait, no, I didn't do a stream. I did a private um, tasting with my local whiskey group, and we did um, one of the Redwood Empires. We did the, ah, uh, what was that one called? If any if any guys from my local group are in here, let me know which one we did, because I don't remember. Um, Trev Wilson says he's not Jewish, but we went to a Jewish church service in basic training because they gave us cookies and donuts. Hey, whatever, <laughs> whatever gets you in. So, so I am cleansing... Okay, I want to try to keep the religious jokes limited. I'm not gonna make any Jewish jokes because I literally don't, I don't know very much about the Jewish faith other than you know the basics. Um, I may make some Christian jokes. I don't know. I, I figure I, I'm justified. I grew up, grew up in the Christian church, so um, I, I was gonna say this is not holy water, but it's it's it's, it's pure. <laughs> it's Br it's Brita certified pure. I, I'm worried. I don't want to offend anyone. If anyone is watching the stream that may be offended, please know not judging any religion it's it's just my experience with this whiskey so <laughs> good morning chris good to see you and we have bill from the whiskey dick here uh bill you're you're familiar with this game studio they're called wisdom street wisdom tree um i unfortunately slash fortunately never grew up with their games um but I'm very excited to give them a try tonight. <laughs> yeah, you guys, please go check out. If you're not familiar with his channel, please go check him out. He's so informative, and he's also, like, a little bit of a video game nerd, too. So he's been on a few streams with me before, um, and hopefully we'll have something fun coming up soon. 
Um, like I said, I was busy with moving, so I, I didn't have a chance to do any collaborations lately, but uh, <laughs> the most offensive thing is seeing those games. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I did pour the um, kosher wheat recipe um, in a different glass uh, um, to keep it kosher. I am going to pour... I don't have a Weller Special Reserve. This is the same recipe as the Weller um, lineup, but I do have... I didn't mean to grab my water droplet, but I didn't grab it, so we're just going to go... This is the Weller 107. This is higher proof, so you gotta, I got to take that into account. Um, like I said, I was going to grab my water droplet to kind of proof it down a bit, but um, forgot that because I'm so excited for tonight. <laughs> so, all right. So the old Forrester glass has the um, Weller 107. Like I said, it's a little higher proof, so not entirely fair for comparison. I'll try to add a little bit of water to this. It's just really hard without... I normally have like a water dropper that can, you know, be very precise with it. Let's just put a bit. There we go. Bring it down to that lower proof there. So, like I said, this is... The, the kosher one is seven years old. Um, it is blessed by a rabbi. And it's very... Wellerish. I mean, it, it's it's the same recipe. It's probably around the same age. I don't actually know the, the age of the Weller 107. Um, does anyone happen to know what the typical age for like that release is? I'm very curious because I'm not. I know the the, the average age on a Buffalo Trace, like the standard release, but not the Weller. So if anyone has that info, please let us know. Um, what pick is that? Oh, good point. So this actually this is this is a pick, which again, not quite 100 percent fair, but this is the SoCal Wine and Spirits pick. Um, I just opened this bottle. I, I had one before. I think I grabbed two, honestly. Um, or I, I had tried a friend's barrel or something. But so this is it is a pick. There's that. But I also I'm I'm getting a foolproof pick from this dis this store. Um, hopefully tomorrow or Monday. So I want to go ahead and open this up. I'll do a comparison on a different stream if you guys are interested. Um, it's my first bottle of foolproof that I've ever been able to get. So I'm so excited. Um, so I want to open this to drink along with it. So. Okay, so we're getting six to seven years um, on the Weller. Okay, so yeah, I, I, literally about the same. Um, really, that's really interesting. Um, so Lil says, what's the proof on the kosher? So the kosher, both the wheat and the rye recipe, are 94 proof. Um, so a little bit more than standard Buffalo Trace, but obviously lower than Weller 107. Um, that's why I said I proofed it down a little bit here. Um, but I have both of them glass. I'm going to let them sit for a bit. Um, let's get into some of these games, shall we? Um, yeah, how is that pick? I, I haven't had it in a while, Brandon, but I'll let you know tonight. Uh, like I said, I did water it down immediately, so it's not going to be a fair. When I do the foolproof review, hopefully in the coming week or two, um, I'll try it like undiluted. The only reason, it's, the reason I diluted it tonight was because I was going to do the comparison. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into one of these games, shall we? Um, like I said, I, I, the only thing I did was to, I tested these to make sure they worked. <laughs> that was my first thing to do, um, but I have not really played either of these games so let's go ahead and let's start with bible adventures and this is the more casual of the two um so let me restart it here there we go a little high there um let me know if the audio happens to be too loud why is there no audio oh wait here we go there we go you guys can hear that a bit now hopefully there's not too much of an echo but please let me know like i said it's been a while since i've been a gaming stream <laughs> So this Bible Adventures game is actually three different games in one. Once I make sure my controller's working. Oh, come on. There we go. I think we're good now. <laughs> Got nervous a bit. Let's see. Uh, may have to set my controls again. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, well, while we wait on this to get set up, let me mute that so that's not annoying as hell. <laughs> Let's go back here. I, I, it may just take a minute to... Come on now. I totally set this up right before we started. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, we got we got it now. Cool, I got a little nervous. <laughs> um, so let me go back to the... Let me just make sure, like 100% sure that this is working. Okay, we're good. Whew, got a little nervous there. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the game. So, give you guys some audio. Play it a bit for me, too. So, let me know how the audio levels are. Um, so, okay, this game comes with three different games. Um, it comes with Noah's Ark, Baby Moses, and David and Goliath. 
Um, so, we're going to try... Noah's Ark I did try when I was testing it out, and it was very difficult. So, we'll hold off on that one. Maybe later in the night we'll go to Noah's Ark. Um, but for now, we're going to do Baby Moses, because that one seemed the easiest. <laughs> um, let's catch up in the chat. Um, oh, what's up? Um, South Car Carolinians are here. Um, the, this a, a friend of mine from um, my Christian school, uh, Michael, is a part of this group. Please go check out their channel. Um, here's a joke, Clifton. If you're going on a camping trip and taking some Baptist friends, why would you bring two Baptists, never one? If you bring one Baptist, he'll drink all of your beer, and if you bring two, neither will touch it. See, I, 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 I'm not gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid jokes, um, but I love that you guys make all the jokes you want. And like I said, I, I've already had people angry that I'm doing this religious-based stream, so I'm just gonna speak from my experience. Um, you guys are, like I said, free to, free to <laughs> think whatever you want. Game audio is a little high. Thank you, Donnie. That, that, that's helpful. Um, I'll bring it down a little bit, so. It's a little annoying to be repetitive, right? So, let's go ahead and, um, first of all, I'll pick, I'll get this game loaded up. And let's try the kosher wheat. I'll let you guys read that. <laughs> um, did I get an NES that came out a couple years ago with the preloaded games? We did. This is actually just um, an emulator that I'm using, but yeah, we do have an NES classic. So on the nose, it's very familiar. I mean... I'm very familiar with the Weller lineup. It's it's very um, it's it's almost spicier than I thought. And the first time I tried this, this isn't my first time trying it. I had it um, a couple days ago just to give it a little taste. It's really really reminding me of Blanton's for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like this similar. It's not even the same mash bill. It's a wheat mash bill. So like obviously it's not going to be Blanton's, but. The notes I'm getting on it are very very spicy. So in comparison to the 107. Yeah, the 107 to me comes across a little more like, it, this is more traditional like weeded bourbon. It's it's like a caramel, um, very light sweetness on the 107. But the the kosher, and maybe I haven't let it open up fully, but it, it's to me, it's reminding me a lot of a Blanton's. And I, and I try to keep understanding that. I'm like, did they bottle the wrong one for this one? But I don't know why. <laughs> but to me, I'm getting a lot of Blanton similar notes. So let's go to give it a taste. Cheers, you guys. So on the palate, I will say, it's very, very different. Palate is back in wheat territory. That sweet wheat bread um, note that's traditional with like, well, especially a special reserve, um, that's definitely there with this one. Um, the nose was a little a little weird for me, but should have read the Bible to enjoy this stream. No worries, don't worry. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I went to a Christian school. Um, I had done plenty of reading of the Bible. I actually had to, one of my classes, I literally had to copy the entire book of Psalms and like literally just copy it and write it down. And we're supposed to like analyze it and like relate it to our lives and stuff. Um, that was a very interesting class, which I mean, Michael, it, it, I'm assuming that's Michael that's on. I know there's a few other people on that channel, but Michael can probably relate to a lot of the, <laughs> like I said, we went to the same school. He, he was in it longer than me. Um, he started sooner than I did. Oh, wow. So, so, but Oh my gosh, I can pick up the enemies? What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> my baby. Do you get green apple in the nose? Um, for the for the wheat? Hold on, let me... <gasps> they just threw my baby. Oh my gosh, wait. Hold on, how do I get him? <gasps> Holy crap, wait. Oh, my baby. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Moses, I'm coming. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, they're so... They're so violent. <gasps> Where'd my baby go? Oh, what's up, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby, good to see you. Bobby was actually in my, um, he was actually in my grade, so <laughs> every experience I had at Christian school, um, he had as well. Um, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing, hope you guys are doing okay. I know you guys are just on vacation, I think. Where is my baby? Where the hell, where the heck is my baby? Do I need to start over? I literally lost the baby. Am I going, I'm going back to the beginning to see if it was over here. This game is very interesting. I don't know why there's spiders that are trying to kill me <laughs> and take my baby away. I know it's baby Moses. Like, I get, like, the story behind it. But like, Oh, he's back over here. Okay. Okay, let's, let's try again. <laughs> okay, that was not expected, but 
let's go ahead and give it a, let's let's see if we can make it we'll see if we'll get through one level and then i'll go back and go back to the the kosher wheat okay so yeah it's pretty easy like once you get the hang of like what you're supposed to be doing here because at first i was like what am i supposed to do why are there spiders i didn't realize everyone's gonna try to take my baby <laughs> okay here we go okay be the first level okay that wasn't that bad <laughs> okay so um someone asked a question about this whiskey nick asks um do you get green apple hmm yes and it's more of like an apple peel um sort of let me see how it is on the weller it's more it, honestly i think that that green apple note is way more apparent on the um weller 107 um i haven't tried this yet um so let's go ahead and give it a taste So like I said, this is a store pick. It's from SoCal Wine and Spirits. Um, Brandon, you you said like there's mixed feelings on it. It's not my favorite 107 pick, I'll say that. But it's for comparison purposes, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had a few other picks that I hadn't opened. I just know that I've tried this one before, and I thought it was you know standard enough to do a comparison. Because I mean, technically, these kosher ones are single barrel technically because they were picked by <laughs> they were picked by the rabbi um but it's not like they had any say in like the quality of the whiskey so there's there's that um taste wise though comparatively let me let me do the kosher one real quick very very similar again they're the same mash bill almost the same age the kosher one's a little younger and i think i get a little bit more of the grain note on the kosher one it's like very bright like almost metallic but not like off-puttingly so but going to the 107 which is you know traditionally older than the um special reserve that one's a lot more mellow i would say um it's very the wheat note is still there it's still like a wheat bread but it's more of like the, the caramel the sugary what you come to expect. I mean, it's Weller 107. A lot of you whiskey people know <laughs> Weller 107 is legit, if you can find it. Um, question for Bobby says, have you tried Johnny Walker Black Label? That's what we are having while watching you. Um, so actually, Bobby, I mentioned this on my stream on Thursday. Johnny Walker Black Label was the first scotch I ever bought. Um, I've, I've been into bourbon for a while, but scotch is kind of like was new territory for me. I'm still learning. I mean, these guys know I'm still learning a bit. Johnny Walker Black was the very first scotch I ever bought, and I, I digged it. Um, I think it's it's very approachable, but it's complex enough that like you you notice like certain notes that are like traditionally Scotch. Um, it really did allow me to branch out and try several different other um, scotches, and I'm I'm still like you know learning a bit, but I I, I think that's a very good intro Scotch. Um, another one I'd recommend is Monkey Shoulder. Um, it's also a blended Scotch. It's a little bit cheaper I think than Johnny Walker Black Label. Um, I, I like the flavors of that a little bit more than the Black Label, but yeah, I mean I mean. Scotches like that are great intros into the, the genre in general. Um, so Juan asks, um, what's up Juan, by the way? He asks, would I buy it again? So here's my thought. I bought these kosher whiskeys to do a review. I did not buy them because I have any like <laughs> personal reason to own a kosher whiskey. I don't think I would buy, them, buy it again. Not even... To completely disregarding like the taste of it i don't think i would buy it again because i feel like there is a certain group of people that seek this out for their religious purposes and this is what they you know they like they want to drink whiskey but they want it to be kosher i think my personal opinion is this should be for them it should not be on secondary market it should not be bought up by all the scalpers i like i said i only bought it i bought one bottle of each to review so that that's my personal opinion on it um I don't think it's particularly better. Like, it'd be one thing, okay, it'd be one thing if it was, like, significantly better than standard Weller. Then I'd be like, okay, maybe I'll buy it. But this is actually, it, it's it's on par. It almost tastes a little bit younger than standard 107. And now I don't have the special reserve to compare, so I can't do a fair comparison there. Um, um, so Spencer says, other than a small pour to get it open up and get breathing, I'm 99% sure this is my first pour of Wild Turkey 101 somehow. Really? Oh, that's interesting. I, I'm a big fan of Wild Turkey 101. That's one of my favorite budget ones. So cheers, Spencer. That's 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 awesome. Please, I mean, if you like it, let me know if you like it because I know a lot of people in this group love Wild Turkey 101. Yeah, so. Verdict on the kosher wheat. We still have the rye one to try. 
wheat i think is good all the i paid 45 dollars for this typical msrp on the 107 is about it's gone up to about 50 dollars now for the price i'd rather have the 107 and it's it, it's probably less rare than the the kosher one anyways so i think i would rather go for a 107 um but you know get to the right yeah no i'm, I'm going brandon come on I, I, it's an hour stream <laughs> we, we have 30 more minutes we're good um let's see let's see if i can do one more level of this game and then if if i get stuck we'll move on to a different game Ooh, it's a different color now why is it froze oh i paused it that's probably why so it looks like the um are the commandments or whatever they are my health no they don't even go down do i even have health in this game Hey, James Taylor, welcome. James is also one of our patrons. Like I said, if you guys want to come to the Hangout after, um, we're doing it immediately following the stream. So, if you want to come... Oh my god, I just threw my baby to attack a spider. I mean, me in real life. <laughs> Let's be honest, I don't do spiders. Okay, that's very evil. I should not say that. <laughs> but it does seem like something that I would do. Oh, this looks dangerous. Ugh, I don't know if I trust myself to jump over this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, these guys these guys suck. They took my baby last time. Ooh, this is scary. Is that a dub? Is it good or bad? I assume it's bad. I assume everything is bad in this game. He who stands firm to the end will be saved. Um, cool. Does it just give you random Bible verses? I thought it was like, literally the first one I got was like a hint for this game, and this one's the rest is just Bible verses. So, hey, whatever floats your boat, but <gasps> my baby! <gasps> oh no! Come here. Okay. It's like a stork just grabbed me. It's where they took me instead of the baby. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> this game is so weird. Okay, well, this game's pretty easy. Um, but I do want to get to a, a couple of different games. Um, so, we made it to level two. We might, we might play this one a bit more later, but I think I want to try one of the other games now. Um, like I said, we're about halfway through. So let's see. Let me go back to the... So this Noah's Ark game is legit difficult. Like, I tried to play this earlier, and it's, like, so hard. Um, have I had the Watson's Barrel Proof k pick? I have not had that one, no. Um... Juan says, good good opinion, agree. Probably good to let those whose religious beliefs are in alignment have first dibs. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like I said, I, I only pick them up to review. I, I, I have no personal attachment to these whiskeys. So the goal of this Noah's art game is you're supposed to load all of these animals. I just put a cow on a tree, so there's that. Wait, the bull's going to attack you? Ew. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you can't jump with them. That's what's part of it. Am I supposed to learn now? <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the the Bible verses. I don't know what they're. I guess they're just to like remind you, like, hey, you should read your Bible more. <laughs> okay, so the goal is to load them all into this ark. Like I said, I never played these games growing up, so I have no like prior skills. Press P will make you run faster. Okay, well we don't need to go faster. Honestly, I'm struggling just to do right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, I keep dropping my bull. Okay, here we go. We're supposed to get it through that hole. Okay. We got our first... Got our first animal. We got a... Wait. What the hell? Go in. There we go. <laughs> I keep saying what the hell. Is that offensive? I'm sorry. Okay. We got an ox. Oh, there's a monkey. Ooh, he's hard. Oh my gosh, he's fast. All right, we got our monkey delivered. So I didn't know these games existed either. Like I said, I grew up Christian. No one ever told me that I should be playing Christian video games, but apparently they're a thing. <laughs> to be fair though, this is like early 90s. Um, for an early 90s game, it's not bad. They're very simplistic. It's, the controls are a little, the fact that you drop your cow every time you jump is very annoying but at the same time oh a pig 
It's annoying, but like, you know, I mean, you gotta think, early Nintendo, oh, early Nintendo games, oh wait, this one doesn't fall off as much. Maybe each animal has a different, oh wow, he's so easy, wow, okay, well I should've got the horse first. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> okay, so we got, how many do we need to get? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to get 12 animals. Okay, well, once we get to six, we'll pour our um, rye. Oh, come on. When, once we get six animals, we'll pour our rye, and then we'll get into that review. Why can I not pick up the pig? What the heck? Why did I keep throwing him? I don't understand why I keep throwing the pig. Is that how you're supposed to get him? Oh no, 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 I ain't, I'm not about that. I ain't gonna like chase this pig around. No. Let me get one of these snakes. Oh, it hurts me. Okay, that's very odd. Um, <laughs> help, has anyone played these games before? I know, Whiskey Dick, if you're still here, you were very familiar with these games. I am not. Why could I not pick that up? Oh, wait, look. Wait, I thought I got that cow already. Is that the female one? Maybe it's the female. We'll see. We'll see if we can get her up. I mean, she does have pink horns. So maybe that means it's a female. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this game is so interesting. Okay, we got four of the 12. Let's, like I said, once we get to six, we'll pour another whiskey. Oh, hey, can you feed things? Wait, can you attract animals with this? What is that, a banana? <gasps> Wait, is that for the monkey? I already got the monkey. Okay. Hey, pigs, do you like wheat? <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is so odd. Okay, Bible verses. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at this point. The pig, I mean, the monkey was so easy to get. <gasps> wait, I got him. Okay, wait, how do we do this? How do we do this? Oh, can I just like take him in? Oh, well, that was easy. What the hell, why are they so hard earlier? Maybe it's the male pig. Reminds you of Super Mario 2. It does kind of, yeah, it's very like, I, I love these old platformer games. And this does bring back some very early Nintendo vibes. I mean. Art-wise, it looks good. I think this, I mean, this is an NES game. This is like Nintendo, early days. I do say this thing, this game looks good. All right, we got one more animal to get and then we'll drink another whiskey. Let's see. I don't know how to get the snake though. You wouldn't get him with the wheat, right? Wait, is that the other pig? That's the pig I can't pick up. He does not like me. Was I supposed to tempt him with the other pig? <laughs> I cannot pick that one up. I don't know what to do. Wait, he ate the wheat. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, James Taylor, thank you for the help. Yeah, they, they eat the food. Okay, so I gotta tempt him maybe. Can he jump? Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come here. I have to face away from him with the. Oh, come on. Come here, get the food. Try it. Do I have to set it down, maybe? Oh, oh, he literally spawns at it. Okay, well, he just ate it all. Great. That was not helpful. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, shit. Steven, I'm sorry to hear... Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be swearing. I'm playing Christian games. Steven, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you're okay. I, I've had very similar things happen. Where is the pig? You need the food and let him pick, let pick him up while he's eating. <gasps> James, you're a genius. Let's try this. Okay, here you go. Ooh. Wait, you can put him to sleep. Oh crap. <laughs> I don't know if I meant to do that, but it worked. Um, okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six animals. Let's move on to, let me pause this game a bit. And we'll go back to the whiskeys because we still have another one to try. So verdict, like I said, on the wheat is it's it's fine with the Weller 107 for the same price. I, I recommend it over it unless you're doing it for religious purposes. Then sure, go for the kosher one.
This is going to be a fun hangout tonight, you guys. I'm, I'm giving you guys a heads up. We're going to be drinking a lot. So, like I said, if you want to be into it, um, I think Donnie sent a link earlier, but um, patreon.com slash bourbonbites. Anyone $5 and up gets into our monthly hangout, which is just what happens to be tonight. So, um, And I guess if you're not committed to doing Patreon, if you send me a super chat of $5 and up, <laughs> you're also invited. Um, I'll send you the link. As long as I have a way to contact you. That's the only thing. So if you want to do the super chat method, um, just shoot me a message on like Facebook or like, I don't know, Instagram or Twitter or something, and I'll send you a link to the Hangout. But, but yeah, so I'm trying to finish these glasses so we can move on. So since we're keeping it kosher, is that a thing to say, keeping it kosher? I will use the same glass for the kosher rye that I use the kosher wheat. Just rinse them out a bit. So let's move on to the kosher rye. So again, same age statement, same proof, 94 proof, about seven years old. Um, like I said, these were, these were selected by the rabbi at the same time the barrel before they went to the barrel so that's that's the thing these are not like selected after the fact like um oh this is a good this is a good pick i i certified that one kosher they were selected beforehand so that's that's why they're kosher so let's go ahead and pour the rye now when i say rye i don't mean it's a rye whiskey like i said the one i could not get my hands on was the um kosher rye this is the rye recipe bourbon so this one is standard Buffalo Trace Nashville. So, of course, I grabbed a bottle of Buffalo Trace. Again, it is a pick. This is a KL pick. Sorry, I don't have non-picks. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's the same Nashville as Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is a little lower proof. This is about 90 proof. Um, so it's not going to be exactly the same. But I figured it would be a good comparison side by side. Again, if you're in it for like the religious aspect, you don't care how it tastes. It's more about being. I mean, you care how it tastes, but also you're not like, which one's better, you know? So. So, okay. So in the whistle pig glass, we have the kosher, kosher rye recipe. And in the old forester glass, we have standard Buffalo Trace. Store pig, whatever. Standard, standard enough. <laughs> um, by the way, do you guys have any questions? One thing I did want to say, like I said, yes, we're playing Bible games. Yes, we are reviewing kosher whiskey. But if you have any questions for me growing up in a Christian school, in a Christian household, let me know. Because we'll treat this like an ask me anything. <laughs> Which, <laughs> it's funny because some of the people in the chat, at least that were here earlier, like know me from those days. So you guys feel free to ask me anything too. Um, but <laughs> but no, I, I appreciate you guys like, you know, sticking around, being cool. Like y'all y'all are cool people. I like that you guys have a YouTube channel. I love watching it. <laughs> So this is the kosher one. No, Brandon, I just opened this one. Literally today I opened it. <laughs> On the nose, it, it's Buffalo Trace. <laughs> it's, it, I honestly, it is a, hmm, there is a difference. Hold on, give me a second. So like I said, the other one had more of a Blanton's nose than like a Weller nose. What is this nose as? The the Buffalo Trace pick, I mean, it knows like a Buffalo Trace. It's, I mean, I, I would probably guess it's Eagle Rare because this is a pretty exceptional pick. So it's like a higher than normal quality pick. Yeah, the, the Buffalo Trace, it, it, it's what I expect on the nose. However, the, the rye recipe, it's spicier. And like, it makes me wonder, like, when I see rye recipe, I'm like, are they talking about like a Sazerac or like a... E.H. Taylor Rye, like, what are they talking about? But, like, if you look at the back of the bottle, it literally says, this is the same grains that go into Buffalo Trace bourbon whiskey. So that's the reason I picked the Buffalo Trace. The other one says the same grains that go into a Willem LaRue Weller. So I assume it's the Buffalo Trace mash bill, or else they wouldn't have said that. It's slightly different, though. It's very, it's way more rye forward than I would have expected. I, if I was just nosing this, I would probably think it's a straight rye, but it's not. It's just the rye recipe bourbon. 
Let's do it. go ahead and see how it tastes, though. Because like I said, the taste is very different on these two. So, cheers, you guys. That's a more familiar buffalo. Man, the noses on the noses, the nosing on these two. They're misleading, I would think. It's very light. I go back to what I was thinking about the Weller. It's good, but it tastes like I wouldn't say younger in this case because Buffalo Trace is a very affordable port. This tastes like standard Buffalo Trace, not a pick. I think this pick, like I said, this pick is exceptional. This pick is amazing. By the way, if you have k &L Wine and Spirits near you in California, um, and you happen to see one of their Buffalo Trace picks, I've bought two of them so far, and they've all been great. So, Yeah, I mean, in this case, I prefer the pick. However, I do think this is very similar to a standard Buffalo Trace. I will say it's a little less fruit forward. I think Buffalo Trace is like fruity, like a deep, dark, rich fruit. This one is very grain heavy. I, I mean, I think this the corn shows on this one way more than the other one. Corn, but with that like hint of like rice spice on the finish. I think if I had to pick a favorite, I think I would probably pick the rye recipe over the wheat recipe. So Brandon, Brandon, you were asking me earlier. Um, I think the rye recipe has more going for it. Again, that's if you can pay MSRP. I paid $45 for this. Would I recommend buying either of them for $45? Yes. At least once. Give it a try. Especially if you're, you know, Jewish. But will I seek this out again? No, but I'm, like, slightly more tempted to seek out the rye. Because I think the rye recipe is really good. Then again, I've had very good Buffalo Trace picks. So, you know, it's, 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 it's you know, win-win. Uh, Steven Grass grabbed a less breakable glass. Um... Rebel Yell 100. Oh, I will stand by Rebel Yell 100 being better than Special Reserve. Oh, yeah. No, 100% agree, Steven. Yes, yes. Huge, huge, huge fan of Rebel Yell 100. I think it's one of the most underrated whiskeys out there. So not like I'm like famous or anything that's going to like influence the opinion, but um, you guys buy that up before a YouTuber or a, a blog recommends it as their favorite weeded whiskey or whiskey of the year or whatever. Rebel Yellow 100 Proof is legit. I swear by it. I have a bottle of it over there. So, <laughs> um, Brandon suggests doing the kosher bottles in 107 and Blanton's blind. Ooh, that would be tough, man. I think the blend. I mean, like I said, the wheat recipe reminds me of a blend. I, I would not be able to. The only reason I would say that I would be able to do it is because I, I can probably pick out a 107 because it's higher proof. But if it was a Weller Special Reserve, kosher wheat and um kosher rye and plantains oh my gosh i would be lost they're very very similar and i think that's that's what's that's what's weird they're, they're so close i don't think i can do it i, mean, I could do it blind but like i would not be able to guess it um james asked does the rebel yell have a lot less hot spice and more sweet smooth i think I, it's my favorite budget weeded bourbon i like it over maker's mark i like it over weller special reserve and larceny however when you're up in proof like the 107 i gotta go to the weller 107 i think when you're going to like mid-range weller 107 is my favorite especially if you can get a pick but like budget wise oh yeah i would pick the rebel yell 100 any day over larceny maker's mark or weller special reserve that's my personal opinion um wilderness trail i've only had one wilderness trail and it was cast prints that's not that's not, um, no, I'm just talking about the regular Rebel Yell 100, um, not the single barrel. Single barrel is good, but the regular Rebel Yell 100, it's $15 in South Carolina. It's not, it, it, it's very hard to find out here in California, but last time I was in South Carolina, it was $15. So extremely affordable and hunter proof is delicious. I love it. It's amazing. Um, so we have about 10 to 15 minutes left. Um, what do you guys think? Should I should I play? The, oh, I, th I think I want to try the Spiritual Warrior. I want you guys to see that one. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. I was going to ask you guys, but like, no, you guys haven't seen it. I promise. It's it's a it's a weird one. Let me let me load that one up. Um, how do I open recent? Here we go. Spiritual Warfare. That's a great idea, Brandon. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, 
So let's go ahead and um, go back to the NES. This is a different game, same company. This one is called Spiritual Warfare. This one is a lot more Legend of Zelda-esque than the other one. So I just heard about this game when I was doing a little bit of research for the stream. I dig it. I really, really dig it. So um, let's go ahead and play around with this. So like I said, it's 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 funny. You guys will see. You guys will see. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna put my name in, hold on. I'll just, I'm almost Cliffy, so I'm gonna put my name as Cliffy. If you wanna see Cliffy, which is, by the way, my my, my drunk persona, um, he will be at the Hangout um, shortly following the stream, so, like I said. Okay. <laughs> hey, new apartment. I gotta get used to the sounds. I will say that's way less annoying than like the constant honking that goes by during my other streams in my old apartment. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's go in and get going. Okay, so like I said, this game. I mean, you can tell it's very Legend of Zelda E esque. So these are bombs. Oh, I just ooh, I just placed one. Okay. So let's go in here. I found the pearl. It is your first fruit of the spirit. Use the A button to throw it. Okay. So yeah. It's like it's like a it's like the fireball in Mario. Okay, some more bombs, thank god. Okay, look, this is the most hilarious thing. So what you're doing is you're shooting what they call the Wrath of God. Like, literally, you are shooting the Wrath of God and you are saving people. And sometimes demons fly out of them. I am not joking. That is the premise of this game. You are supposed to... Oh, an angel. I've never seen one of those before. Do I get it? Jesus said that's that God's word is lightning, truth, or life-giving. Oh, what do I say? Someone help me out. <laughs> um, lightning, truth, or life-giving? Huh. What do you guys think, A, B, or C? I'll just sit here and drink whiskey while you guys decide. <laughs> but I know that it's not your fault, it's the delay. God's word is, I would say truth, but like that's like a very basic concept. I don't know like Jesus' actual words. I don't remember the actual quote from the Bible. God's word is truth, right? Truth. Okay, Brandon says truth. What do you what, what do the rest of you guys think? Andrew says truth. That's that would be my first guess too, right? Okay, Steven says truth. We'll go okay, four of us say truth. I wasn't expecting an exam, me either, me either. Okay, let's go. Truth. Wait, I got I got extra Oh, oh shit, there's two questions. Oh, oh, oh crap. Not, oh ship, like the ship that, that Jesus, okay, no, it's not. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. This is set you free. I have heard this before. I'm gonna go with set you free. There we go, we got that one right. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man who comes to the Father but through me. I would assume Jesus, unless Moses and Paul were like freaking, not heretics, but like, it's gotta be Jesus. Like, who else would it be? What? It's gotta be Jesus. Okay. Ah, uh, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. True. Yeah. Okay. You got. You guys are right. Yeah. If we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves. Yeah. Because like that was the thing. Like I mean, that, even in Christian school, like everyone is a sinner everyone not just born in sin but like we sin every day it's just part of human nature it's more about like asking for forgiveness so all right i'll let you guys catch up but there's a little bit of a delay you guys are just now saying jesus so i'm gonna say this is true okay true there we go there we go we're doing true hey zeus it's hey zeus oh my gosh how many this is like a trivia quiz what the heck 
God desires that blank be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. No, God desires that no one be saved. I don't think that's, that's, that's what the Bible says. All men are good people. It's all men. He wants everyone saved. Yeah, it's got to be all men. Okay, I got extra health. There we go. That was the first time I've seen that. Oh, crap, I placed a bomb again. Oops. So, oh, my God, I played... Oh, my God. I forget the button. Okay. Okay, let's save some people. Let's go save some souls. Okay, this is where the bombs are needed. Look, I have to place a bomb there to get through. Yeah. So I hate that I wasted them all. Oh, crap. Kill the demons. Okay, here we go. Looks like I need another bomb. Okay, get out of the way. That's true, all the ladies. Hey, didn't say anything about the ladies. Ooh, they move really quickly. That's the only thing. They move really fast. They move way faster than, like, your character. Hey, Joseph. Yes, we are playing video games, but we're almost done. Um, we're about to move over to the Hangout right after this stream. We're just saving some souls first, of course. By the way, thank you guys for joining me for a Saturday stream. Like I said, it's, it's, it's new, but I think I'm going to be doing Saturdays. I don't think many people stream on Saturdays. Let me know if there's anyone that streams during this time that you normally watch and like you're like cheating on them a little bit. Um, otherwise, I think this is a good time for me to do my second stream a week. Oh, it's a train station. Oh, I need a ticket. Ah, uh, don't have a ticket. Bomberman talk. Yeah, it is like Bomberman. It's Bomberman, isn't it? Oh, we got some like green elves here. What do they represent? What is green like? What is green like? Greed. Green, no, Envy. Green is Envy, right? <laughs> hey, this company is called the Wisdom Tree. So they are legit, like, that's their thing. They always make religious games. So I will say, though, I keep getting killed by demons, but I will say this game is actually pretty not bad. It's very Legend of Zelda, and I love that. Oh, ADHD Summer Soul Center. Yeah, I, I need to check with them. Oh my god, it's the basketball of the devil now. Okay, let's see if we can get into the basketball game. Oh, we can't get in. What is the point of this? What the heck is the point of this? You can't even get in there. Oh my gosh, that guy is so fast. Oof. Okay, we got him. Alright. We'll do like two more minutes of this game and then we'll do a little wrap up before the hangout so I will say I do want to play more of this game I I'm into it I dig it it's well made there's probably way more to it than I'm seeing right now the other games were very simplistic they were like you have one thing to do oh wait okay more trivia we'll do one final trivia round um and then we'll we'll do the wrap up okay here we go Jesus told his disciples to preach the gospel to a every creature B, only the Jews, or C, only the Gentiles? Um, I mean, my guess is A. What do you guys think? Yeah, the more I let this, um, the rye recipe open up, it, the more buffalo trace -y it gets. I still think there's way more, like, fruit, fruitiness on the standard release. Every creature. Yeah, that's what I thought so too. We'll do that one. The Bible says the gospel is the power of God for healing, judging, or salvation. Ooh, this one seems... Um, there's two things that I would say. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just play Zelda, although no trivia, so maybe the... <laughs> yeah, like I said, I try to be on theme. I, I like doing themes here. Um... I figure since we're doing a religious themed whiskey, we'll do some religious games. It's it, like I said, I grew up a Christian school kid. It's it's not unfamiliar to me, although I've never played any of these games. So 
Oh yeah, I'd love to play Sal or Salvation. I'd love to play Legend of Zelda sometime. Yeah, we I, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna do way more video game stuff in the future. All right, people are saying Salvation. We'll do that one. Oh, we got it right. Thank you guys. We're at a 65 good doves. The Apostle Paul was blank of the gospel. Ashamed, not ashamed, or a judge. Ooh, that's hard. What do you guys think about this Apostle Paul one? You like it? It's fun. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's fun too. Like I said, it's, it's 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 just it's just fun. I'm not out here judging religion, and I think these games are well made, especially for NES. These are old, 1991. I think this game came out, so it's a legit game. I mean, it's not what I would choose to play, honestly. Okay, first of all, in 1991, I wasn't even born, so I did not have an opinion. But most of the games I played at that age, I played like Carmen San Diego, Oregon Trail, like those kind of games. I did not play. Um... You drink enough whiskey, they're all religious. <laughs> hey, you have whatever experience you have. Okay, we got one ashamed. What do we say? Brandon has ashamed. Anyone else have any opinion? Oh, Donnie says not ashamed. The Apostle Paul was not ashamed of the gospel. What are the apple looking things? Um, oh, that's the bombs. The apples are the bombs. So I, I'm, I'm out of bombs currently. A is like the little fireball. Like the pew, pew. Wait, did I have a limit? Did I only have a certain amount? I was only, I was using them like sporadically. Um, see, I feel like Paul was the one that he changed his name to Saul. Ah, uh, I'm going to go with not ashamed. That seems likely. Okay, that was right. Okay, here we go. Question 10. Oh, nine. John the Baptist preached for men to repent and blank the gospel. Listen to, read, or believe. Believe? Or read? I would say read. I don't know. It's probably, that's, hey, that's a good point, Andrew. It's propaganda, but you could argue a lot of games now are too. That's like the most true comment of the night. <laughs> um... So this one, okay, you guys are saying not a shame. We picked that one. Thank you. Um, this one, though, I think it, I want to say read, but I could be wrong. I could be really wrong. I'll drink my kosher whiskey. Maybe I'll have some enlightenment. <laughs> I got you, Joseph. <laughs> I want to say read, but if you guys think it's believe, we'll do believe. Not a lot of literates back then. Very true. Very true. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it was believe. You're also saying believe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Believe. Oh, we got it. We got it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sam B. By the way, welcome to the hangout or the stream. The hangout is following very shortly. Okay, last question. Evil men went to the churches in Galatia to pervert the gospel. I have no freaking clue. I've never heard of Galatia. Um, oh, thank you, Donna. That's interesting. It wasn't written until later. Galatia to pervert the Bible. I've never heard of Galatia. I've heard of like Galileans. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to spread my misinformation about religion. Galatia. I've never heard of that. Like in all my years of Christian school, I've never heard of Galatia. I've heard of Galilees. <laughs> same, Andrew. Same. So Donnie says true. Well, Donnie, you're from Tennessee, so I feel like you probably had a very religious upbringing too. So we're going to go, unless anyone has any other opinions, we're going to go true. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it sure. Oh, and the little bow tie spun. That was cute. Okay. So that's it with this game. I, if I had to recommend one of these games, I would pick this Spiritual Warfare. I think it's fun. And I think it's actually, I, I, I actually want to play this game more after the stream. So that's my opinion on that. But I did want to say thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. If you're watching the replay, of course, hashtag replay squad in the description. Um, if you are not a patron, um, if you're watching the replay and you're not a patron, we do monthly hangouts every month, once a month. Or if you're the $10 tier or above, tier or above we do a after party after every stream. So if you're interested in that remotely at all, the link is down in the description below. Um, 
we are about to do our July hangout right here very, very soon. I just got to refill my water. Um, if you are here for that, if you're if you're a $5 and up patron, um, check Patreon in the next like five-ish minutes. I will be posting the link to the hangout. Um, but otherwise, oh, wow, Donnie, you are right. Galatians. I got it now. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, this is totally different, but I, I want to do more of these game streams. Um, but until next time, I'm Clifton, and this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Retro Gaming Twist. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday's stream. Until then, I'll see you at the Hangout. Cheers. Thank you.